What is up guys, this is Brian here. So, I just moved into my new apartment. This is the Gray Hill Apartments in Gainesville, Texas. I'm not telling you my apartment number because, for privacy reasons. So, there's the front door. And this light switch here it goes to uh, that and that outlet. I think down there is hot and these are just gonna switch by that switch. And it's got basically a privacy lock there's a one way well it's actually a one way lock and this is this is a key lock and see it's got new flooring and it's got LED lights up there too so that's nice and I didn't really furnish it I just bought some cokes some forks paper towels and just a little bit of uh, kitchenware so let's check out the living room. Yeah, this is the living room. So here's the balcony. Here, I'll show you real quick. I don't want to go outside because I don't feel like it's kind of cold out there. So yeah, there you go. That's what's just for the balcony light. And that's where we put my TV, my 55 inch TV I'm putting there. Then I'm gonna have internet come out of that uh, coax jack there. That's where I'm gonna be getting my internet from. And there's probably put my couch. I might invest in a, getting a recliner to put in here too. So I had a couch space that was against the wall, and I'll probably put the recliner right here in the angle. I do need, I do want me a recliner. So let's check out the kitchen. So like I said, there's that the sink. I'm missing the little spray head on that, but it'll be all right. And there's, like I said, some stuff I just bought from Walmart. A dishwasher, and this is, a, this, is a, this is a little pantry. Oven. There's a fridge. I only got one thing of hamburger meat in there. Froze up. And I got some butter and eggs. And a few sodas. I do have bottled water in the car, but I need to bring those in. This is where I put all my seasoning. I got salt up there. And I'm not really sure what I'm putting those cabinets. I'll probably put medicine up here, and I'll probably put extra stuff up there if I need to and this will be put on my kitchenware and I think over here will be put on my silverware and over here probably put like rags and oven gloves and all that and down here is where I'll be keep, keep all my chemicals so I got all-purpose cleaners and soap and it does have a, a guard disposal <clears throat> under counter light okay Here's the switch for the hall light. And then, this is actually the first apartment I had that has like a, a decent little hallway. And the door, the first door to the left is AC heater. Turn on the light. Okay, there's your thermostat. Yeah, it's just a Honeywell thermostat. It's on, it looks like an old one. Yeah, the heat set to 67 degrees. I had to try to get this place heated up. It's kind of cold in here. So here's the bathroom. It's got two lights. This thing kind of flickers, but I'll just I'll eat off for now. And there's a sink. And I had to buy some toilet paper and uh, some uh, toilet cleaner. Cause yeah, and I put my toilet paper there. And I use a warmer bag for trash, a full shower and bathtub. And then here's the first bedroom over here. This is this is basically the master be bedroom. This is where I be this is where I be sleeping. And the cool thing about this cool, the cool thing about this bedroom is you got a closet here, and you got a chain light. So yeah, I'll probably keep my I'll probably use this little storage closet where I keep all my all my spare boxes and shit. And then here's probably where you want to keep all my clothes. And you got another chain light in here too, so. Good addition. I probably have this in my clothes closet, and this is probably my storage closet. And here's the master bathroom. Okay, so there's your sink. And I put a roll of toilet paper in here. I had to put it on top of the toilet because there's no 
where to put a paper a toilet paper. There was something there, but they ripped it off. So the last person that ran this part ripped, ripped it right off the wall. So you got a full shower in this one too. And you get basic cubby space in here too. So you can put your towels and spare clean supplies and everything. Okay, and then there's one more room that we're gonna go into, which is the second bedroom. The reason, the whole point of me getting a two bedroom apartment is that I wanna have this one as an office or basically a computer room, let's say. I'd probably keep maybe a card table right here with all, keep all my laptops and stuff on. And I might invest in getting me a new desk to put here to put my main custom built computer on. Like I'm not gonna buy any furniture right now. I'm not trying to like put any money into getting new furniture. I'm trying to just do it a little bit at a time because I only work for Walmart and I don't get paid on YouTube because I don't have enough support. So that's why really really what I'm trying to work on is get more support on YouTube to be able to be able to buy the things I need and want. Okay, here's a closet for this bedroom. There's only one closet in here. You got a little chainlet. Okay. So yeah. You got a ceiling fan. You also got a ceiling fan in this room too. So it's the first time I had an apartment that had ceiling fans in it. And you got a little a dongle jack there for the cable. You got one in the main bedroom too. Oh yeah, and there's also another closet here. I might use this to keep a vacuum and broom and dustpan. In, in a mop. I'll probably keep maybe like a spare trash can, my, my, spare trash can, vacuum, broom and dustpan, mop. And I'm just gonna put on top of that top shelf. Probably just put paper towels up there, like spare paper towels. Okay, excuse me, I just a little bit tongue twisted there. And some kind of smoke and carbon monoxide alarm. And you can also turn off the light by switching this too. But I'd rather, I'd rather just use this switch over here that way. If I were to do on the hall, I need to see what I'm doing. I just flip it. That way I don't have to go up there and flip that switch too. So yeah. I mean, this apartment's really, un, really, there's not really not, not much to show in this apartment. It's, it's unfurnished right now. I mean, I just, I just leased it yesterday. I just started leasing it yesterday. Like I paid the first month rent, I paid the deposit. So if y'all are curious about what this apartment costs here, I mean, this is the Great Hill Apartments. And like I said, I'm not exposing my apartment number because for privacy reasons. And I'm paying $800 a month. And the security deposit's pretty high, it's $800 as well. I guess there, if you, don't, if you don't pay your last month rent or whatever the case may be, then they just use that to pay your last month rent. But I'd rather just, get my deposit back and just use it for another apartment if I need to. And if you put an application fee, you pay about $25 for it. So if they want to run your application, run your credit and everything like that, then they, they pay $25 and they do that. And you start paying your deposit and you don't have to pay the first month rent until you officially move in. Because they don't, the only way they give you your keys for the mailbox and the apartment key. The only way they give you the keys is you gotta be approved, you gotta pay the deposit and the rent. You gotta pay everything up front before they hand you the keys to it. So, this is actually a really nice apartment, I like it. It's old, it's built in 74, but it's really nice. I'm not gonna ramble too much, I'm not trying to keep this video longer than 10 minutes. So, I am gonna catch you guys in the next video. And see you.